This is a Shabbat Shalom in the name of uh, Yahshua, our Mashiach, um, in the name of Jesus, our Messiah, our Christ, the Anointed One. Um, it does warn us about uh, future events and uh, does want to not only tell his saints about these things first, um, but um, basically listening to Alex Jones the past uh, few days, very, very interesting what's going on down in Bilderberg uh, meeting there. Um, but what really is happening is that the knowledge of God um, is dwindling down in the Western nations. That atheism um, is, is very, very prominent in many of Western nations today, especially in the educational establishments. And this is going to be the result, the removal of liber liberty itself. Um, Alex Jones always saying that he's a libertarian. And uh, certainly we can talk about politics all day and everything like that. But really, truly, um, people have to turn their hearts to, to God, to Yahweh. They have to recognize Jesus Christ and, and repent of their sin. And they're not doing that. And the message just isn't getting out in the churches anymore. And the gospel isn't being preached anymore in the streets of these cities. And uh, this is going to be the result. It's going to be basically God's taking um, the, the mighty angels who are holding the shield up against um, the tyranny that the fourth Rich is bringing through heart weapons. YouTubers such as Reverend Michelle Hopkins that are saying that they're using harp on the San Andreas vault, on the New Madrid vault. And uh, I myself have a couple of dreams and visions of late. I saw this one a few days ago. Just generally what, what you're seeing now, uh, I saw this in a vision. And um, Seho Song has done a video on it, which uh, obviously has encouraged me to actually make this video, which I'll leave the link to, of course, on this video. And about the last one he made about the tsunami in the west coast of the United States. And I'll also leave the video that I did several months ago, the fact that it is going to affect Europe. I saw a map of Europe and I saw cities lit up, and I saw the name Madrid. Um, one of the ones that I remember in my dream was that I saw Madrid, and I also saw it affecting uh, parts of the British Isles as well. Um, so it's, it is going to happen. It is going to be an event that's probably going to affect the entire world, as it says in Jeremiah 25:32. Again, I'll put the scripture on the screen for you, just to look at and um, spread this word, because... Yes, I mean, there's Bilderberg meetings, there are um, Jesuits that are controlling things and um, high power, they're all idolaters. And of course, even the Statue of Liberty was brought in sort of against the wishes of the uh, Christian people in New York City and many other people, some Jewish people also, of course, that they, they're not idolaters um, in any full, uh, fullness type of sense. I mean, that's not to say that, I mean, the idea of idolatry in, in the Hebrew is, um, it, you know, it could be overeating or it could be, you know, watching too much TV, you know, but um, we're actually, to actually fashion an image is against against the second commandment, which again we've spoken about taking out of the Dewey Rems Catholic translation and um, that's why the Catholic Church can get away with all the idols they have in their churches without anyone really questioning it because it's not in their scriptures unless we use a King James Version, of course. There's no debate, you know, the NIV versus King James Version, there's no debate as far as I'm concerned because this will be the re this is the result of churches falling away from the King James Version, um, deleting the Second Commandment and all other types of scriptures that have been taken out or adjusted or watered down. This is the result, people. Um, American Idol, all these shows that we get fed, bombarded with every day, all the... Um, Basically, um, very, very Id idolatrous, lustful kind of music that comes across the airways every day when you're driving to work. Um, basically, a lot of the things that are going on down in Watford just now with Alex Jones. Um, uh, there's a man called uh, Tony, um, I think it's Gilbert, but uh, again, I've probably thumbs up uh, the <laughs> that video. But um, he's finding out some great information. I mean, um, the city... I'm talking about the city of London the past 10 years committing some atrocious crimes and um, seem to be above the law and they seem just to try to be imploding the system in the West and um, even encouraging people to actually invest in banks 
in, in across the Muslim world. And this is obviously what we're talking about is the new world order. It's going to be a sort of communist um, Islamic um, dictatorship and that's what they want. And they're obviously going to be in cohorts with uh, the Catholic Church and um, it's going to be sort of quite a mess um, by the time it comes in in the Third World War. Um, we've been waiting for this since September the 11th. Many Christians have got dreams and visions about the Third World War and great distress like there was in the Second World War with the death camps. And we see, you know, the, the camps all set up across the United States. Many, many Americans have left the United States. Some of them went to Greece. And uh, obviously Greece has had their own problems the past couple of years. Um, but, you know... Basically, that's that's the word. What's the, the word of God says that in the last days, the, that um, the end times are going to be like this. It's going to be very very hard for um, anyone to escape uh, the 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 judgments that are coming, and that they're all because man has actually forgotten his God, and um, has meddled with the word of God, and basically has treated Yahweh's servants has treated uh, Christians or born again Christians uh, as complete, um, you know complete idiots and at the end of the day this is going to be um, what's going to happen to our society that's the vision that I saw this week um, now of course um, this has happened in the past the Colossus of Rhodes um, was recently found um, around you know if you look at a map of Greece and around that area you see little um, islands all kind of spread around that possibly was a, a larger landmass at one time but many, many tsunamis have hit there over the past centuries. I think the last one was about the 8th century, which destroyed three major Roman um, cities um, at that time. The, there was warnings from the Christians, and then within a few years, obviously when the Christians were leaving, they were told to leave the area, and these cities were destroyed, these areas were destroyed. And the Colossus of Rhodes has been found under the ocean there, around the Mediterranean, which is around probably maybe two-thirds the size of the Statue of Liberty. But again, it's um, it's an affront. It's it's an abomination. It's when, when God looks down from heaven and he sees large idols and cities, he's not impressed with it. Um, he wants people to turn to him, to give him the glory, to worship him only. And of course, is the, the, the flyer I did the other day, Yes, Your Honor, International Flyer, number 14. Um, I've got, I did get a tremendous amount of spiritual attack last night. But um, I, I had basically continued in prayer and worship to Yahweh. and um, But, you know, I did hand a lot of, well, not a lot of flyers, maybe about, let's say, a couple of dozen out yesterday. Very, very easily. People are interested in it. And, um, yes, uh, I think it's I think that flyer is going to, as I said, um, I prophecy that it's going to have a major impact for the kingdom of heaven. I'd, I'd definitely encourage you to download Flyer 14 and just hand it out randomly. Like if you're out shopping, you know, you spend 10 minutes in the shopping centre or outside the shopping centre or on the street just handing these flyers out to people, telling them about the music industry and the, the industry itself. All the Most of the artists are influenced by satanic people, Luciferians, who basically worship demons and are idolaters as well. And... Um, Basically, we, we need to break this spell on people because uh, this world that we're living in is just a make-believe fairy tale world that is basically um, taking God out of absolutely every aspect of our society from school level, from grassroots level, right up until, um, you know, when you're old. Uh, uh, basically, you know, you're just reliant upon the state for education, for food, for everything rather than um, maybe spending a few days in prayer and asking God if he exists and he will speak to you as he did to me and many, many other people who have actually went ahead and separated themselves from the world just for a few days for prayer. And that's what we need to do to actually um, lose all the voices and confusion of this Babylonian system and um, inquire of, of, of Yahweh, inquire of Jesus Christ and ask God who Jesus is that's, that's how I started, and two missionaries were sent to me and um, explained that the, the King of Heaven, the King of Kings, came down and gave up his throne um, to die for me. Little, um, little basically, lowly, useless me. And uh, I, was, I was staggered by that. I was very touched by that. And um, just know that Jesus loves you. That's the reason he did it, because he loves you. 
and um, if he just did it for one person, then then I'm sure that Jesus still would have done it because he he loves us very very much as he loves himself, and that is the whole of the law: love God um, with your heart, mind, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. And um, that's how Jesus lived, that's how he died, and that's how he was resurrected. Because basically he didn't allow Satan to get into his life enough to basically remove any blessing or eternal life from him. Basically hung on to Yahweh, his words, the whole time he didn't sin. Um, even when the demons came and tried to tempt him, his, his mind remained firm in the word of God. And um, as, we, as John the Apostle actually witnessed that Jesus Christ... Um, was from the beginning, as he as he testifies in his gospel, that he's more than just a man, Jesus Christ. But the important thing is that that Jesus um, lived as the perfect example for for man on this earth as the second Adam, and he, um, you know, basically he's the only way f to salvation, and he is returning with the saints um, after these things take place. Or could it be before these things actually take place? Many Christians think it's going to be a rapture for the Christians before all this happens because we see many, many prominent Christians, ones I respect, Tony Mayano, out in the streets of LA, um, pretty much every day preaching the word of God, going to abortion clinics, and basically just um, pleading with people to, to, you know, turn their hearts around and, you know, don't kill their children because... You know, their sacrifices to Baal, and uh, that's what the Israelites were doing. And, uh, you know, during there, when God's wrath fell upon them, and it's now happening to us, and, um, you know, the, these aborted baby fetuses that were told that they're going to bury them and so on, but how do we know that they're not selling them on um, to the food flavoring companies such as Cinemex and maybe to uh, other companies who are making technology? Or, or who are making cyborgs. I mean, we don't know what they're doing with these um, aborted human fetuses. And it's reported that Cinemex, yes, has been actually extracting cells from the kidneys of these aborted fetuses to put into the flavoring of food products. Campbell's, Pepsi, Kraft products. Um, you can see from the playlists below. Of course, um, YouTube has recently modified that again. Um, Anyhow, but uh, we have to put up with this, and of course, but we have to get the word out, of course, as well. And um, we can't have these things go into our bodies and, um, you know, continue to expect Yahweh's blessing. We've got to be very, very careful and vigilant for our own souls and for the souls of others, and that's why I'm making these videos. Um, it's, it's important that you share this. It's important that you, um, you know, you realize yourself uh, about these things and... Um, you know, just try your best to stay right with, with Yahweh, if, even if it takes a lot of prayer every day to repent of sin and to to, to basically, um, the sins that we're unaware of, of course, as well. So we need to spend time in prayer every day, um, a lot of time away from our computers as well, of course, and, and uh, worldly things every day. And um, just break, break these spells, break all the technology that's trying to somehow numb our minds and... Um, sort of take away the the thoughts that the Holy Spirit gives us every day. You know, we're we're in a spiritual battle and um sometimes fasting and praying um is the only, is the only answer that we, we, we can really have. You know, as Yeshua says, as Jesus says, when you fast and pray, you know, you shouldn't announce it. You should anoint your face with oil and do it in secret and then your far, father in heaven will see it and reward you openly. And um that's why I don't pray too much on these videos, it's very very aware that um, the Pharisees used to go out um, onto the streets and markets, and they used to hold hold prayer meetings and stuff like that with the people. People did respect them, but but Jesus says, well, the real power is that if you go to the Father in secret and um, pray uh, for His power, and then uh, as as Jesus actually showed us how to do, He walked among the people and um, He was able to heal people, and that's that's the reason why. In the past, I've also, um, or sorry, that Yahweh's actually worked through me. I've not been able to, I can't heal. I've no power within myself to do that. And I won't take the glory for any of that. But God, but God knows, Yahweh knows that there has been people in the past that has been healed um, because um, because of his righteousness dwelling in the saints, you know. 
and um, that's how we sometimes we forget about that. It's, yes, it's about his kingdom, it's also about his righteousness as well, and everything else shall be added unto us. So, as we see the, here, the, the so-called torch of liberty apparently is being passed on um, from the old world order, which um, is largely largely an American empire now, um, sort of taken over from the British Empire, but now seems to be handed over um, to a central world government, which um, of course is uh, pretty much up and running now, but it's, it's not fully up and running. It's up and running behind the scenes, of course, which Alice Jones has been exposing, and uh, Luminati, Bilderberg, and uh, many, many others. Please recognize that if you're a, an atheist, that liberty and freedom exist in order for you to choose um, to get right with the true God. Um, please recognize that it's Christians in the past that have died and fought against totalitarian regimes um, that have brought you uh, this um, choice that you can uh, honor whichever God you choose or you can um, choose to listen to the, the, the message of the Bible, which is to get right with uh, Yahweh, the, the one true God. And uh, please uh, use this little light that we have yet in society until um, they're trying to bring in this new world order, which is going to be totalitarian, authoritarian, which the Catholic Church has been in the past, which communist um, nations have been in the past, and uh, which, of course, Islamic nations are just now. Um, that's what they want to bring in. Um, to the west and the whole of the rest of the Babylonian system until Jesus' second coming. Okay, thanks for listening. May God bless you.